Hello, this video is going to be all about crocheting and what I've been making lately. I have a lot of footage from various cute things that I've made and I'm excited to show you. I had this idea to make this cute little blue kind of romantic looking sort of tank top or kind of a summery top but I'm gonna wear it in winter with a nice uh, like fuzzy cardigan or something but um, I made this shirt from three panels but you definitely could do it all in one and I might do that for my next one but I kind of like how it looks with the two panels for the back sewn on and um, I decided to lace some ribbon through it. I want to make a like how to video on how to make this shirt and I want to make like a light yellow one with some light blue ribbon with it and light blue flower. I think that would be so cute. Um, we'll see if I end up doing it but I think that would be really cool. The roses to me were the key for this and I think it goes so well with the light blue and it just looks so delicate and pretty. I can't wait to wear it. I found this cool pattern for a sweater um, on a different YouTube video, I'll link it below. I changed it a little bit and I modified how the sleeves are. On the original one, the sleeves are very wide all the way through and they're very like kind of bulky and big and I kind of wanted mine a little more slim around my elbow and just less like really baggy because I could see how that could get in the way. I like to cook a lot and you know paint and all that so I don't need my sleeves like dragging too too much. Um, I think it looks really cool but I wanted more of like a bell sleeve, a gradual bell sleeve so I decreased around my elbow and then increased back to give it that nice flare. Welcome to my kitchen table, which is now my yarn crochet table. If you could only see what goes beyond the frame. So my big focus just right now is just finishing this sleeve. And then I'm going to block everything and sew it all together. And I hope that it fits well. And I need to make the moon. Um, but I'm just really, really excited to have this shirt. Like, I can see myself wearing it. It's beautiful, it's amazing, I'm proud. So we gotta get there. We gotta finish this. I'm making um, a funky little bag with some granny squares. This one's not finished yet, but you'll see the footage of me making some of this. Um, it's my first ever granny squares, and it was really fun to make, but the idea is to like have them sewn back to back, making a bag so it's like double sided. Um, I think it'll be really cool, but we need to finish that, we need to finish the shirt. You'll see some footage of me using my new knitting machine I just got. Um, that's going to be really fun to use more in the future. So let's get crocheting. I need to crank this out today. <laughs> I also decided to make a moon for the front instead of a star just because I'm all about the moon um, but I think the star is super cute too. There's something so pure and happy about crocheting. It's for one so soothing and nice to physically do it and have that tactile um, you know hobby and you can see things be made right before your eyes and just feel the yarn and see the colors it's really nice to the senses but it's also just really exciting to know all the different things you can make and you can always learn something and it's really not too hard to learn a lot of the things if I need a boost of energy or inspiration or optimism I pull up my crochet um, 
bored on Pinterest and just look at all the like colorful happy things there and it usually brings my mood up and I get all motivated like oh I want to make this I want to make that um I don't know it's just it's such a happy thing to lean into and I think it'll be something good to lean into for the winter months and just keep making and not get stagnant but find joy and optimism and excitement for something that you can do indoors it's super super cool to make clothes and bags and like be able to use them it feels like such a long process in my mind but in actuality it doesn't have to be and it's kind of cool to make something and show myself like look you can make something pretty quick actually and that makes me more motivated to keep making stuff because <laughs> when i first started it really felt like oh it's gonna be years before i can make something it's gonna take so long but really it's not like that at all my husband alec has been learning to crochet and now he crochets with me all the time and he's made a ton of cool stuff and I've just really enjoyed that time with him. I think it's so impressive and cool that he decided to do it and I love seeing how much he loves it. And he really motivates me to like keep up with it because I'm very quick to like put down one thing for the other. So it's been more consistent and I really just value that. So I don't think I filmed any of this, but basically I'm making a cute little white purse. Um, and basically the idea was to have like a strap that was the support. So it went through the bottom and up the sides and then turned into a strap. But I wasn't paying attention last night. I was too busy talking and I just started sewing up the bag without the strap. So it's just kind of sewn on the bottom, but I'm gonna lean into it. I think it's cute. It seems to like hold up well. So we're gonna come up with a different plan. I, I have so many different paths I wanna go with it. So I need to rein it in and like pick one style, but I'm leaning towards lining the little pockets I made with pink and then lining the flap with pink and then making like little strawberries maybe we'll see I don't know I don't know <laughs> 
the main thing I think that I save on Pinterest and am inspired by is crochet bags and I just want to make so many. I really think I might have a lot in the future um, so I might need to figure out some storage stuff with that but um, they're just so like delicate and colorful and you can make like cute keychains for them and you can add cute charms so I want to get a bunch of beads and start like making cute charms I also want to make jewelry again I don't know it's just it's like feeding the crafty side of my brain and it fills me with so much joy and I just love it I don't know I'm so excited <laughs>